As we highlighted over the past few months, the mid-Michigan region is home to many talented people. From artists to musicians, this little part of the mitten oozes talent. This has always been the case, like with Saginaw's Robert Armstrong, born November 20th, 1890 to Mina A. Laman and William Noah Armstrong. Oh, uh, Noah. I got it! Hey, what's the matter with you? What do I pay you for? I get all the ideas around here. Now what? Got a new angle. Just thought of it. It's great. I'll take cowboys. Cowboys? What for? To last two lions, of course. Max, so you can buy all the lions in one in California. But I'm going to send you stories from Africa. They'll fight to get them. All you got to do is pass them out. Don't you understand? I'm going to be in terrible danger in darkest Africa. Robert Armstrong would spend most of his early childhood in Bay City and Saginaw. After high school, Armstrong studied law at the University of Washington in Seattle. Just before graduating, Armstrong would drop out of college to help with his uncle's vaudeville entertainment business. It's thanks to his time with the vaudeville company that after World War I, Armstrong would take a shot at Hollywood. Why, you fish oh, oh, You really murdered! In 1927, Armstrong made his film debut in the film The Main Event. This debut launched his prolific career, starring a variety of films featuring his fast-paced, assertive, on-screen personalities. His acting talents soon grabbed the attention of rising film director, Marion C. Cooper. Cooper collaborated with Armstrong for many films early in their careers. These include the 1932 pre-code horror film The Most Dangerous Game and the iconic 1933 King Kong. We're millionaires, boys. I'll share it with all of you. Why, in a few months, it'll be up in lights on Broadway. Kong, the eighth wonder of the world! King Kong proved to be one of Armstrong's biggest claims to fame for his role as Carl Dunham. Dunham is a driving force in the film, is the director character who takes his film crew to Skull Island. In the end, returning to New York City with the giant ape creature King Kong, hoping to gain nothing but fame, success, and money. The film was a huge box office success, leading to a sequel, Son of Kong, later that year, where Armstrong would reprise his role as Carl Dunham. As the years passed, Armstrong's filmography continued to grow, encompassing a wide array of genres. From comedies to dramas and adventure films, he navigated diverse roles with ease. One of Armstrong's next memorable roles would bring us back to the world of stop-motion monkeys with the 1949 film Mighty Joe Young. In the 1950s, Robert Armstrong's career made the transition from the big screen to television screens. Most notably, Armstrong portrayed Sheriff Andy Anderson, opposite of Rod Cameron's Lieutenant Rod Blake on State Trooper. The series failed to market to big networks like CBS, but it successfully sold to local markets as a syndicated program. Armstrong would continue acting until his retirement in 1962. In 1972, Robert Armstrong passed away at the age of 82, survived by his wife, Louise. Just one day later, King Kong director and close friend Marion C. Cooper died as well. Although they had no children of their own, Louise and Robert Armstrong were parental figures to actor Jimmy Linden. After Armstrong's death, Linden cared for Louise until her death 18 years later. 2024 marks the 91st anniversary of King Kong, so this year, it only makes sense to continue celebrating everyone's favorite giant gorilla and shine a light on the cast that helped bring the magic alive nearly a century ago. Well, Denim, the airplane's got him. Oh, no. It wasn't the airplanes. It was beauty killed the beast. Thank you.